Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to enable jumbo frames and how to change the uh, MTU values on a per interface basis on the Brocade Campus Series, although this would apply also to the MLX and the NetIron Series. Um, so by default, if we have a look at an interface, uh, say show interface E1 slash 2 slash 1, you're going to see that the MTU size is set to 1500 bytes out of the box. And that's the same on all the ports. So 1500 bytes is kind of the standard, right, for, for a, uh, an Ethernet frame. Um, and so there's many cases where running storage or, you know, you've got lar large file transfers, things like that, where you want to run jumbos. Um, and so if I try to turn on jumbo on an interface, so for example, I'm going to go to that interface, E1 slash 2 slash 1, the way I would change the MTU on a per interface basis is with the IP MTU command. However, um, by default, the MTU is 1500 bytes, but it ranges on this hardware from 576 to 1500 bytes. So I can't build you know, a 9,000 byte MTU or 10,000 bytes or whatever you want to run um, on this particular platform yet. So the way to do that is you, in global mode, you do jumbo and there's no options on jumbo. You just say jumbo and it's going to tell you that it requires a reload. So what you would do is you do a write mem and then you're going to do a reload and that is going to reallocate all the memory. So uh, you only have to do that once, of course, and then you can set the MTU on a per port basis to whatever you want. But that has to be done uh, globally, and it does require a reload, so it is disruptive. So we'll hop over to router one, where I've already done the jumbo and I've done the reload. So now, if I look at an interface, show interface E one slash two slash one. I can now see that my MTU on this interface is 10,200 bytes, right? Um, so now if I go into config T and go into the interface E1 slash 2 slash 1 under IP MTU, I now have a completely different story, right? So my MTU range is now 576 to 10,178. Um, and so, um, so it, it it comes out the number here you see in the show interface is with the with the header right so it's uh, 10,178 um, default 9216 and um, and so and we can go ahead and change that on an individual basis right so if I wanted to do an IP MTU of 9000 say on that port I could change it on a per port basis all right so that's how we globally enable Jumbo, and then you can change MTU on an individual port basis if you wish to. Um, the other thing you should be aware of is the MTU exceed. So what happens when, if you've got some ports that are running Jumbo and some ports that are not, what happens to those frames when it exceeds the MTU of the port? And you might be surprised to learn that by default, um, the MTU exceed setting is going to hard drop those packets. So there's a global command called MTU exceed. Um, and the options here are to forward it, so to fragment the packet and then to forward the fragments or to hard drop. And by default, the device is going to hard drop those packets with exceeded MTUs. Um, and so what you may want to do, especially if you have, you know, some some ports that are that are um, running jumbos that need to talk to, you know, 1500 byte ports, something like that, um, what you're probably going to want to do is set those to forward. And so that is the non default setting. And so now it's going to set the fragment bit in those packets and be able to fragment them into smaller pieces. Um, so not all of your ports have to run jumbo. Now they should, right? So if you were, if you were running, say, um, iSCSI or NAS and your, your storage array and your servers should all be running jumbo in order to get the maximum benefit out of that. Because otherwise, the, the, well, some devices are sending large frames, and then we're just spending all of our cycles splitting those up into smaller pieces. And when it gets to the end device, it's got to reassemble them, you know, and, and so, so that's just a waste of effort. So almost every device out there is capable of running Jumbo, so servers or PCs or storage or, or whatever it may be. And so it just makes sense to have everything run Jumbo in that environment. Um, 
so anyway, so we we're gonna we're gonna do an exceed forward. So rather than hard dropping those, we're gonna we're gonna tell it to forward the fragment packets. And then in the configuration, so if I do a show run here, um, what we now see the MTU exceed forward show up. So so the default setting was MTU exceed hard drop. So we didn't see that in the default configuration as the norm with brocade. If it's the default setting, it doesn't show up in the running or the startup configuration, only if it's something other than the default. So um, so in this case, we've altered the default from hard drop, and so now it shows up in, in the forwarding table, or in the, in the startup config. All right, uh, so that's it for today. Um, pretty straightforward on how to set that up, but, but you know, the, the warning is that it does require a reload one time because it has to reallocate the memory on all the ports and reallocate the, the cams. Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks for joining. Take care.